I, I've always um, worked here, and then, you know, my parents have passed away, and the house was empty, but full of art. And there's, there's, there's hundreds of paintings and uh, works of my father's, and then it, it, the house just was too important to, to, to let slip, so um, I moved in and um, created my work here for many, many years. And, you know, hundreds of pieces have come out of that little shop, but um, I just think it's really important that this legacy is continued for the next generation. I, I don't know where it's going to go after I'm gone, but at least for the present, we're trying to keep the uh, spirit of the house alive. My father, George Sudakawa, was born in Seattle in 1910 and um, raised in Japan and came back to Seattle. Um, my father started carving wood sculptures in the basement, but we had this two-car garage out back. And um, I remember in the early days there would be large chunks of wood stored there. And my mother's comment was her car never saw the inside of that garage. It became the wood shop and then when my father first created his uh, major uh, uh, fountain sculpture at the uh, Seattle Public Library, uh, it turned into a metalworking shop. So I kind of grew up out there. I have fond memories of uh, a, being uh, a young child here and so I basically learned my craft and it was everything from welding to patina to installation of large sculptures to you know design and um, all those things from my father. You know I'm, I'm working as a sculptor and I, I'm, I'm trying to you know continue my own career but actually my career now is the house and the legacy and, and my father's artworks and and maintaining the house and, and um, the um, there's just so, too many important things here, you know, artifacts and my father collects collection and, you know, my artwork now and uh, I just turned 70, so time is moving, but um, uh, I think this will always be the base for, for my uh, life and operation, yeah.